I left early in the morning to go to a dentist appointment with Julie. We left at like three in the morning and she called me sometime in the morning and I and so I went back down but when I got to the house I mean it it looked like it looked like the movies there was a red fire truck there was a black van with tinted windows there was there were two ambulances there were 20 cop cars I mean it was it was did you just sit in your car no I I pulled up and found a spot to park she lives on a cul-de-sac I parked in the cul-de-sac and I walked up and the the driveway was just full of cops and I just walked up to the cops and Mm. they said they said are you the mother and I nodded my head and so they took me and and put me in the casita and I sat there for a couple hours I just sat there and then um, they they were finishing looking through the house and stuff I think and um, some of the guys were coming in and out with pizza and so I think I think Eve was still there because the ambulance car was there eating pizza with the police and then, um, and then once once the kids were taken in the ambulance cars, then the detective came and patted me down and arrested me, and then took me to the courthouse for questioning. Now, a ton of video footage has been released in the Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt case. There are several news media outlets that are releasing a ton of this footage. However, it is sporadic and not in order. So in this video, we are going to cover Ruby Frankie from the time she was first apprehended at Jody's to her initial interrogation footage. Now, that first clip you heard at the beginning was a jailhouse phone call between Ruby and one of her sisters, and that has been posted over on Jessica Daniels' channel. I will link it down in the description because it's roughly a 19-minute video and it's very interesting. Now, as we know, Ruby was somewhere else and she drove back to Jody's house. So, this is inside Jody's house, and this is where they first talk to her and walk her out to the police cars. Hey, Ruby, at this time, I know we have to sit that you're already detained, but I'm going to be taking you back to the police department. Okay, so I'm going to have you pop up. Okay, and then you're going to be taking me back to the police You want to put on one of our vehicles? Right. Yeah, you want to. Okay, just place your hand on your back for me. Perfect. And then, right now, I can put a finger in each of these, okay? And I'm just going to double off this so they don't tighten up on you on the way out there. Where's your car? It's out there. Yeah. The you by the command. Um, you don't have anything on you that I should know about, correct? Any weapons, anything that we're going to find. Before we put you in a police vehicle, we need to search your person to make sure you don't have anything on you. Is there anything you have on you? Okay. And you'll notice throughout this too that Ruby pretty much refuses to speak to them. I'm going to search you before we put you in his car. That's just protocol, so I'm just going to have you step right over here and then just widen your legs, widen your stance. Yep, perfect. Are you wearing a bra? Okay. I'm just going to go like this through and make sure you don't have anything. You said you're not wearing a bra? Okay. Can't even say the simple word no. Is that just like a tank top under here? Okay. Just gonna lift up your hair. Okay. All right, you're just gonna walk with the officer Hines. No, go out this way. And then, hey, Hines. You wanna go this way or that way? Yeah. And then if you want to go down the downstairs, yeah. into the interview room downstairs. Sounds good. You Thank going you. down or I'm going down? What? You're going down. I'll come get the I appreciate it. I was going to ask you to come turn my car off, but I'm leaving now. So we're good. Yeah. It's still on. Yeah. 
So I'm going to speed this part up because they're just walking to the police car. Of course, Ruby's not going to say anything during this time. I'll be trying to turn Ruby to number 12. I'll give you my beginning here in a minute. And right here, they've redacted the sound. I did not do that part, just so you know. And in this footage, they are going to cut to when they arrive at the police station, I believe, when they do Ruby's first interrogation. I'll come up and I'll come back and grab it after they get back here. You guys got it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, brown hat. I thought it was pink. All right. Thanks, sir. Bye. Okay, come on up, please. We'll go that way. Close that door. What's that? Downstairs in the interview room. So I could have gone that way, but I appreciate opening the door. And we'll go ahead and make everyone go to the right here. Go to the other room. This way, yeah. And it's like she just refuses to make eye contact, too. Okay, go ahead and have a seat. Look how mad she looks. She's pissed. Just showing like no concern for her kids whatsoever. So now this officer shuts the door and then he's going to walk to that other female detective's room. And I kept this part in because they make a comment about Ruby. So I wanted to hear you, let you guys hear that too. She is definitely not a talk. She not? No. Maybe Even if I ask her a name okay. or just like, let me ask about things. She looks at me and goes, What's that? That's how really? Yeah, I'm very curious. Okay, so now we are to the initial interrogation. So that female detective is going to come into the room and attempt to talk to Ruby. Hi, Ruby, how are you? I'm going to have you come sit on this side for me. Thank you. Was this your order? I'm gonna. It's yours if you want it. We'll say that. We also have snacks if you need anything to eat. So I know I introduced myself to you earlier, but my name is Detective Bates, and this is Sergeant Tobler. We're just here to talk to you about kind of a few things involving your kids. We're gonna do a zoom in now that you've seen the timestamp. So first, are you? Do you live down here or? Or do you live up north? Do you want to talk to me about where you live or how many kids you have? So we just spoke with your husband and he said you guys have six kids. Are those all together? Are those all your kids? I can wait all day, so it's up to you if you want to talk to us about what's going on. Would you feel more comfortable talking to one of us? Maybe you want me to take a step out if you want. Or if you feel more comfortable talking to him, I can step out. I'll wait till I have a lawyer. Okay. So you don't want to talk to us at all? Do you want to answer that? Are you, you don't want to talk to us about anything? So 
Yeah, this this is just your chance to tell us we're just trying to get your side of the story. Um, so it's your chance to do that. But it's up to you. We're just going to talk. And I mean, I'm not asking any criminal questions. If you don't want to talk to us, just let us know and we'll, we'll be done. I've already told you. Uh, you want a lawyer? Okay. Yes. Okay. Easy enough. Thank you. Is there anything else I can get for you in the meantime? I got the water, do you need a bathroom break or anything like that? No? Okay. So again, no like, hey, how are my kids doing? Are they okay? None of that. Just this very bizarre, awkward silence. Now, we have more footage after this where they tell Ruby what she's arrested for. They place her under arrest, and then they place her in the same car with Jody and transport them, I believe, to the jail, the prison, wherever. All right, step up, please. Thank you. Go and face that officer. Put your hands on top of your head, please. And unless your fingers. Thank you. Put on top of your head. Look to your left. Thank you. I just don't want to uh, hit you in the head on accident with the cup. Okay. Go down. Mark, you ready? The ones that locked on the outside? Oh, right there. Okay, yeah, I got them. I know you got searched already. I don't, by uh, Bates, you don't have anything in your pockets at all, right? You have just these ones only? Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay. So now we are just gonna go up the stairs to the front lobby. We'll go out the front door that way. Hey, just hang on one second right here in the lobby, okay? Yep. Now, they're not really saying much here when that officer goes outside, but when he comes back in, he's going to ask Ruby, like, are you okay? Because she's not even answering, like, very simple questions. So, I'm going to skip to that part. Make sure you want to let you know what your what criminal charge is for, so you're under arrest. It's going to be two counts, second degree felony of child abuse and neglect, okay? Do you understand that or no? Are you okay? I'm wondering if there's like a medical clearance that needs to, like, do, do you need medical attention before you go to the jail? No. Okay. So, like, even this officer is like, are you okay? Because you're not even answering very simple questions. She's, like, taking her right to silence extremely serious to the point where it's unusual and bizarre. All right, well, we'll have you. As soon as she gets down here, we'll bring her out, okay? Okay. Have you ever been arrested before? Absolute silence. I'm just concerned about you. I know you don't believe that. But I've had an opportunity to talk to your husband and kind of worried about your circumstances and obviously your children as well. And now she refuses to even look at him. But you're sure you don't need medical attention or anything like that? Hello. Soda. I got sudden tears. Why did you start today? Oh no, it's all really good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, awkward. They're going to stand here for another minute or two, not really say anything. So we're going to jump ahead to the point before they walk outside.
Yeah, do you, we probably do another... Are we Search? Content? Yeah. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but don't you guys think it's weird that they let Ruby and Jody ride to the jail in the same car together? I'm just gonna make sure you don't have anything in your pockets. Any, you're not wearing anything else under this, correct? Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. Spandex? Ma Nothing? You don't remember what you're in? Okay. I just wanna make sure that you don't have anything. Just wipe your stance a little bit for me. Yep, thank you. Okay, so I just spoke, you can turn to face me. So I just spoke with Jody, but you both are under arrest right now for child abuse. And you'll have two counts of that, one for Eve and one for Russell. Okay, so the malnourishment, you guys are in direct custody of these kids. Okay, do you have any questions for me at this time? Of course not. Zero questions about her own children. No questions? Okay, we can open. You got it. So that's the extent to this footage. The officer is going to mute his body cam here. So now that concludes all the footage that I have seen of Ruby Frankie from the time she was first apprehended at Jody's up until being transported to jail. I just thought it would be easier if all of the footage was in one video and in order.